of 2022, the world changed forever. Artificial intelligence or AI became accessible to the public for free through a tool called ChatGPT. The potential to unravel the very fabric of capitalism itself and what it means for us as individuals. And a little bit later in the video, I'm gonna tell you how you can capitalize on this to 10X how much you make. It's here and it's only gonna get more dangerous and powerful. Alex Hermosi built a $100 million company off of some advice and I'm gonna do it too. But a quick background on Alex Hermosi for you guys who don't know, he sold Gym Launch a long time ago for $100 million and now he's the founder of acquisition.com and he invests in a bunch of different companies with a certain amount of revenue. And he had some pretty particular views on AI and how it's gonna shape and change the way we live, act, and the relationships in the future. But there's specifically one thing that he talked talked about in regards to business where I personally connected with. In his video, Getting Rich with the AI Revolution, he talked about how humans' lives are gonna change with the integration of AI. And I know what you're thinking, a lot of people thought the same thing with the metaverse, with NFTs, with even maybe potentially cryptocurrency, but AI is here to stay. Think of it like this, ChatGPT has 300 million active users and they got their first million users in just five days. The closest platform to do that, Angry Birds. And there's tons of people who have become experts in AI in just a couple of weeks, couple of months, all since ChatGPT is launched. And the problem with this is that every single person calls himself an expert without having any actual expertise and they make their money by selling ideas and different topics to other people. Or they try and promise that there's gonna be some sort of specific outcome where they can make money or change their lifestyle to be lavish. But there's a significant opportunity here with artificial intelligence and I'm planning on using Alex Hermosi's different ideologies to capitalize on it. It's not selling a course, it's not creating a clothing brand, it's actually integrating AI into business. So why am I doing this? Let's go all the way back to one of the first times I heard Alex Hermosi talk when he was on Graham Stephan's podcast. Now, Richard Brunson's a multi-billionaire and he held a conference where individuals could go to learn about how to use advertisements. Alex went to this conference and he had said, hey, I have this idea to build a bunch of gyms and we're gonna build it out a different way than individuals are already doing it. It's the unique value proposition on an existing industry. And Richard Brunson said response to him after he gave his entire business pitch and thought that he was gonna change the world, that he's a level 10 skill set with a level two opportunity. And Alex said to himself, if I'm gonna spend all this money to go watch Richard Brunson talk, why wouldn't I wanna listen to him if I'm spending all this money? If not, it's a waste of time. And this ideology can be replicated in any single industry, especially with AI being the forefront of investment from venture capital. Before we break it down, the founder of LinkedIn said that you get investments in two ways. Number one, make something so unique and so different that they can't say no. Or number two, ride the wave on what's popular. And what's popular right now? All the artificial intelligence. And he built LinkedIn because he wanted to connect people all across the world. The Shabani founder, he just liked making yogurt and he wanted everybody else to be able to experience the yogurt as well. The Five Guys founder created burgers because that's the only thing that he felt he could do and he wanted to share his recipe with others. What's the major theme here? People are connecting with each other and bringing end value to the user. That's the major thing. How are you going to benefit the user? Now I created a company called Electra over three years ago, where we're taking kinesiology tape, we made it conductive, and we took a wireless muscle stimulator and are integrating it into the kinesiology tape. They'll be able to almost have a physical therapist in their pocket because the big problem is that I've realized is people don't go to physical therapy because they think it's not worth it, it's too costly, or they just don't feel like they need to. So I was thinking more about what Alex said and I was like, hey, there's a way that we can change the nature of work here, which is exactly what he talks about in his first video. What specific industries, how do we break it down, who are the target markets, who's gonna use it on a day-to-day -day basis, and how are we gonna get a, a larger customer lifetime value out of it? And it all comes from the implementation of a deep learning model, also artificial intelligence. We'll be able to take data, collect everything all up, store it, and then analyze it, and then give feedback. So essentially using ChatGPT's API to be able to say, hey, you have this kind of problem, we're gonna give you this amount of shock, and we recommend doing XYZ exercises, and then you can also consult with physical therapists, and you can go into a PT office, you can stay at home, you can put the tape on, and it'll give the feedback directly to the physical therapist, and they'll be like, hey, you're not doing too well. We gotta fix that. So it's actively rehabilitating the individual while it's also giving feedback and monitoring the individual's compliance. And a major problem in today's society is that a lot of healthcare spending and rehabilitative spending is all on causative. If you have an ACL injury, it's one of those painful injuries you can have and it's a horrible experience to go through. What if there was a way that you could have something monitoring and say, hey, he could potentially or she could potentially have an ACL tear here within the next month if they're not careful. Wouldn't you wanna have more preventative measures than wait for it to happen and say, hey, here's what you should do now for rehab now that your knee is destroyed. Alex had five points of the video where artificial intelligence is going to completely revolutionize the way that we live our lives. And I'm going to talk about how my company can integrate into that and how you can do the exact same thing with something that you're building. First one is the nature of work and the ability for artificial intelligence to automate tasks and make individuals way more productive in the future. Point number two, Alex talks a lot about how artificial intelligence is going to change the way that businesses operate as a whole. Think about it like this. Imagine being able to call some sort of service center and getting a 24-7 service agent that knows exactly what you need every single time. Or think about financial modeling, financial 
financial forecasting that is able to search every single piece of existing data that might be relevant to your market, might be relevant to your competitor's market, and know exactly what to do to have the perfect market penetration strategy. Think about from a manufacturing perspective. You can keep exact inventory of every single piece of furniture, clothing, any sorts of good or service that you that you have it can be marked, categorized, stored, and artificial intelligence cloud, saying that you could be oversupplied or undersupplied with a specific good. Now, I think about it specifically for my business and how it's going to change the way that the rehabilitation sector works. So right now, individuals would go into the physical therapist, the athletic trainer, the chiropractor with a specific problem in the sense of the rehabilitation market, again, is all based off positive when stuff already happens. What if we shifted the entire rehabilitation dynamic towards preventative, where we could put this on an individual for their back problems, their tennis elbow if they're playing too much pickleball. We could also specifically work with a uh, physical therapist. Think about it like this. People don't believe in physical therapy because when they go to physical therapy with a, with a calf strain, with a muscle strain, they think that every single time that they go, they're going to get the same workout, the same rehabilitation plan as every single other person with a muscle strain. And what's cool about what we're making at Lectro that I've been working on for the last three years is we're able to optimize it specifically for the person's needs. Now let's talk more about how it's going to change different sectors. For example, retail. Individuals could go into a store and say, hey, I want a specific Amiri shirt that's black and blue and has brown polka dots. First of all, ugly shirt. Second of all, there's a potential to link up if it's not in that store. It would show exactly where you can find it to that specific individual. They can tailor to the size, tailor the specific needs. It can tell you the entire history of the clothing, whether you'd want to know that or not, how you can match it with other outfits. There's endless ways. And there's probably five or six companies that I just named that you could create right there. And it's all knowing pretty simple tasks and following this systematic process. There's a tool called Gamma AI that already makes PowerPoints for you. Essentially, the possibilities are endless for how you can change the way that businesses will operate in any sector. Point three, how it's going to change the economy. Now, in the video, Alex stated that artificial intelligence has the opportunity to completely disrupt the economy as a whole. Think about it this way. Imagine the scene of Wally, -E where everyone's sitting in the chairs, just watching their screens, eating their foods, not even able to walk anymore. That's the potential I see it heading unless we control it now because artificial intelligence as we know it will eventually become sentient, eventually become conscious and be able to automate almost every single task that humans can do now, which is scary. There's ways that we can work around it to be synonymous. Alex also outlined that with artificial intelligence eliminating a significant portion of the jobs, that wealth distribution along classes could change dramatically. So let's transition to my company and talk about how it would change the economy of the rehabilitation sector. People will only get treatment after something happens. There's not enough money being put into preventative measures. And when there is, it's it's for a specific niche group of individuals and it's super, super expensive. Specifically for this sector, artificial intelligence will be awesome to be able to say, let's make sure that bad stuff doesn't happen to you so you can keep going and doing fun stuff like playing pickleball and be able to get on with your life. I was listening to a podcast with Lex Friedman and Andries and Horowitz and he was saying that there's going to be more and more artificial intelligence integrations of putting a doctor in your pocket, a lawyer in your pocket. So why not be the physical therapist in your pocket, be the chiropractor in your pocket, be the coach, the helping hand there for your everyday problems that you could potentially have. And again, this is the same thing for any industry. Think about search engine optimization. If you want somebody to have, a, if you want to target a specific demographic, think about the change in education as well, how you could potentially have the best math teacher teaching each and every single individual in the entire United States at the same time and being able to leverage artificial intelligence with that individual to be able to answer specific questions that a kid may have in a classroom because obviously if you're teaching every kid in the United States you can't get answer every single question they're gonna have there's gonna be tons of opportunities out there and I would recommend getting the plus version of chat GPT or using the tools around it and I can link them down below and I'll link them in the newsletter as well to be able to leverage those tools to be able to start making you money part number four Romance and relationships. This one's a little bit rocky because specifically lecture can't be tied to it, but we're kind of going down a scary turn already with deep fakes. People have the opportunity to put other individuals' faces on any video, picture, output that they want to. And this could lead to a lot of problems down the road, along with where lecture does come into play is with the relationship aspect, whether it's professional or personal relationships with friends or even family. Because a lot of the individuals who, as they get older, get more bumps, more bruises, more pains, more strains, more pulls. From all the people I've interviewed, all the people I've talked to, the ones that are upset about being old is not because they're old. It's because they can't do the stuff that they like to do before. And if there was a way to bring that opportunity back to individuals using an integration of lectures technology and artificial intelligence, imagine how many lives, millions of lives across the, the country, the world, that we'd be able to change. The integration of AI specifically on this sector is really cool because you're changing the quality of life, you're changing the ability to make each and every single person a better person and you're changing the dynamic of an entire industry and disrupting what we thought was the only way to help people to feel better. Think about the use of artificial intelligence in other sectors as well for, for 
relationships and romance, whether it's a a counselor for different aspects of life, maybe that's an ethical concern as well. Is that something as a species that we should be doing is consulting robots for love advice, for life advice, for dating advice, for stuff along those different accords. Point number five, the nature of life itself. Now, Alex believes that from a philosophical perspective, AI has the potential to do tons of different things that humans would never have the opportunity to be able to do. For example, exploring space within our lifetime, and maybe even potentially expanding on the human lifespan or finding a way to get us into space, be able to live forever, things along those lines. But then we raise the ethical concerns again. Or Alex talks about if we have an artificial intelligence version of a person, is that considered to be a person and then in the future, will they be considered to have human rights as well? Well, thank you for coming to the corporation, the best community, it's Generation. And guys, again, after each and every video, you keep coming back. More and more people each and every video. I appreciate each and every single one of you for being here. This is absolutely incredible, and I love that you guys continue to keep watching all the videos. If you like the video, make sure to add me on Snapchat for more behind the scenes stuff you can see from the day to day. Make sure to subscribe, hit the post notifications, do whatever you have to do to stay updated with the channel because we're on the road to 100,000 subscribers. I appreciate every single one of you watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.